So I'm hoping maybe all of you, but certainly some of you have seen that commercial before. And every time I see that ad or anything in Jamaica that represents something from my home, all the way here in New York City, I can't help but smile, even just for a moment. But the question is, what is that ad not telling you about Jamaica? Beaches, sunshine, and tourists. I'm sure you can find all these things in all 28 nations in the Caribbean. I've been to several of these places, and I can tell you there is no place like my home, Jamaica. Jamaica is a tiny dot in the map. I had to find one that would highlight it in yellow just so that you wouldn't have to squint too hard to find it. But the fact is, our reach is global. Just to put it into perspective, in Jamaica there are 2.7 million people. In America, there are over 300 million people. Very few nations have given mainstream music a new genre. We gave you reggae and its biggest icon, Bob Marley. If that wasn't enough, we gave the world the fastest man, Usain Bolt, who did the 100 meter sprint in 9.58 seconds when people said it wasn't possible. In the 2008 Olympics, the Jamaican team brought home six gold medals, three silver and two bronze, making us the fourth highest in the athletics competition worldwide. In Miss World, after Venezuela, United Kingdom and India, Jamaica has won the most Miss World titles, with three that is more than any other Caribbean nation. So you see, my country has it all. We have good music, we have talent and men, we have beauty. <laughs> the Jamaica brand is huge. It amazes me how this little island does things that makes people put this on their desktop. There are jerk chicken items on menus worldwide. I must tell you that traditionally jerk chicken is cooked on a particular type of wood called pimento wood. And I guarantee you that none of these restaurants have any pimento wood burning in their ovens, but that's besides the point. I went to the Cheesecake Factory in North Carolina once with a friend, and on the menu it says Jamaican black pepper chicken. I said to my friend who's also a Jamaican, Sean, what is a black pepper chicken? And he laughed, because to this day we still don't know what Jamaican black pepper chicken is. However, Everybody wants a piece of Jamaica, whether it's authentic or not. In Jamaica, we can offer you nearly everything. You want to live like the rich and famous? Join the likes of Ralph Lauren, who has a home on the island, and live the life of luxury, but not have to pay top dollar. You want to come to the Caribbean, but don't always want the heat. Go to the Blue Mountains and have the world's finest coffee that sells in New York for up to $108 a pound. Beaches, we all love our beaches. But I won't give you any beach. In Negril, walk on seven miles of white sand and then go into the clear waters for a refreshing swim. And finally, what most islands can't offer you is a city. And believe it or not, in Jamaica we don't just lie on the beach and soak up the sun all day. Come to the capital, Kingston, and experience that true vibe of Jamaica. I want you to take a moment. Take a moment to think about every rhythm that you have ever heard that came from my island. Take a moment to think about those accents that you've heard in animations or movies that imitate a Jamaican accent. Think about any reference you have ever seen to Jamaica, whether it's at Hamilton Deli across the street, they have advertised their Jamaican jerk wings on that white piece of paper, or if it's an ad on top of a cab in New York City. And hold that thought. Now imagine what would it be like to experience the real thing. You see, what the commercial that I began with forgot to tell you is Jamaica is the best island there is. And that is why we continue to influence the world. I booked my flight this morning for spring break, but don't just take my word for it because you can't believe everything you hear. Come and experience the truth for yourself. Come to my Jamaica. Once you go, you know.
question or comment? <laughs> Yes. Um, so do you think uh, Jamaica is the only country that's sort of misrepresented that way, like you mentioned with the Cheesecake Factory, or not? How is it different from... I think this? that it is easy for us to be misrepresented just because we've become so commercial. With other islands, you don't see, like, Trinidad has curry, but no one ever says, like, I'm going to have Trinidad curry to the menu. And because we are such a brand, people want to align themselves with that brand, even if it's not a true representation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, have you ever seen Cool Runnings? Yes. Um. I will tell you a joke. I know one of the actors in Cool Runnings, Malik Yoba, he's a tall one and he tells the guy, look in the mirror and tell me what you see. <laughs> and I know the man in real life that he's playing. He's best friends with my dad. And that's one of the movies with the bad actors. Like the character, you know? I know the actor and I know the real person. Both of them. Yes. Funny. Yeah, those accents are awful. <laughs> yeah, I love when you when he breaks the dread in <laughs> when he's frozen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I always talk about this. So Bob Marley was like a revolutionary. He was an inspiration to his country. And now he, he generally gets relegated to, to like resort music. Right. Do you have any strong feelings towards that? I think that people forget what has grown from reggae music. We have a whole new genre. People still call it reggae in the um, United States, but it's actually, we call it dancehall. Um, that's the Beanie Man, the Sean Paul, more of the modern day. And that was born out of reggae music. So I agree that although... And then there are those reggae artists who are going global, they tour in Japan and Germany, and they could never be doing what they're doing now if it wasn't for that time. Yeah. Last question, please. I know there are lots. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is it about Jamaica that you think gives it such a global reach, and like, do you think it's the child rearing, or I think what is the culture? It's really the people. Jamaicans are extreme. Like They do everything extreme. <laughs> and I think that where when we go abroad as well we're always wearing our colors i mean the only reason why i don't have black yellow and green on my nails is because i had a meeting like usually we're always representing so a lot of people get to see and our diaspora is huge we have the same number of people in jamaica as we do outside of jamaica so like there's a um, patty shop that opened in china you know so we definitely have that reach and because we excel like Olympics, everyone is watching to see what we do. We now have Koreans who come to Jamaica to train because they, I guess they think it's going to make them faster. It's not. <laughs> so that's what we do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.